In this video, I'm going to introduce the concept of Kaizen for continuous improvement in higher education. In Japanese, Kai means change and Zen means good, but the term Kaizen is generally loosely translated as continual improvement. The concept of Kaizen has been coined by Masaki Imai in the context of the Toyota factory in Japan. It was said that every Toyota team member should be empowered with the ability to improve their work environment. This should include everything from quality and safety to the environment and productivity. Improvements and suggestions by team members are the cornerstone of Toyota's success. So this means that under Kaizen, improvements in processes are based on many small changes rather than radical policy shifts. All staff should continually be seeking ways to improve their own performance. All staff also take ownership over and responsibility for their work. So what does this mean in terms of integrating Kaizen in, in the daily work of university staff? It means that institutional management is responsible for introducing the Kaizen philosophy in the institution. This means that they should mandate regular Kaizen events and providing leeway for implementation and testing of the outcomes of these events. However, most of the quality work is done by teams of staff, which can be on the level of a department or other organizational units where people are working together. On this level, regular Kaizen events need to be held, which can be standalone events or as part of other events. We will go in more detail about the process to follow there a bit later. But first I want to stress an important element of Kaizen, and that is that the basis is the level of the individual staff member. Here problems are highlighted in their daily practice and that these are being proposed based on their experience. By bringing these individuals together to discuss their problems and possible ideas for improvement together in the Kaizen events, a flow of ideas, solutions, etc. should flow again upwards towards management, who then takes responsibility for enabling problem solving and continued improvement within the institution as a whole. The main requirement for implementing a Kaizen philosophy within your institution is that there is genuine and regular input from teams that are working towards a common goal. When you think of common goals in the higher education context, you can, for example, think of a group of students working together to reach a high grade in a group work, or a group of teachers trying to meet a certain faculty target, or maybe a group of managers achieving a specific institutional objective. Basically, any team can do Kaizen, including students. For a Kaizen philosophy to really work, there are some essential requirements. First and foremost, there needs to be full support from management for implementing Kaizen. This means that they should give teams authority to make change, but also willingness to experiment and to fail. And of course, there should be enough budget available for the Kaizen events to, to take place and for all the improvements to happen. I'm now going to introduce the six steps that Kaizen consists of. Identify, discuss, test, monitor, share and mainstream. The first step is to identify what are the problems and issues that exist within a team. So ideally during a dedicated Kaizen event within your team, you should ask for problems and issues that exist this can be linked to waste of resources, low efficiency that exists, low quality, stale IDs that need to be improved, etc., etc. The next step is discuss the issues and problems that are being identified. This means you should check with the team if everyone shares the issues that are be being identified, but also to look for solutions. How can these issues be resolved together? Based on that, IDs that are being generated should be implemented now by the team itself. The IDs and solutions then need to be tested in practice. It's important to document all the improvements and also to define a measurable success factor or indicator to be sure if something works or not. Try it out. Related to this is the next step, monitor. While trying out the improvement, make sure that you check to see if it's working using the defined indicator. After that comes share. Share your results with the team, but also with other teams and with the management. Finally, we go to mainstream. If it works, 
adopt the improvement for the entire team and have management integrate into the management system. Finally, it's essential to document every step concisely.